Life. It is a journey, is not it? A journey filled with twists and turns, ups and downs, and moments that test our very core. But here's the thing. My friends, it is in those moments of hardship, those times when life feels like it is crushing us under its weight, that we have the greatest opportunity for growth and transformation. I want you to take a moment. Close your eyes if you are comfortable doing so. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, I want you to think about the hardest thing you are facing right now. Got it? Because that thing, that challenge that feels so insurmountable is actually your greatest teacher. When life is hard, it is easy to fall into the trap of victimhood. To look at our circumstances and say, why me? Why is this happening? It is not fair. But I am here to tell you that this mindset, while natural, it is keeping you stuck, preventing you from seeing the incredible opportunities for growth and self-discovery that are hidden within your challenges. Let me share a little secret with you. The universe does not make mistakes. Every hardship, every obstacle, every moment of pain or discomfort is actually a perfectly orchestrated opportunity for you to become more of who you truly are. It is a chance for you to tap into the infinite well of strengths, resilience, and wisdom that resides within you. I know what some of you might be thinking. That's easy for you to say. You do not know what I am going through. And you are right, I do not. Your journey is uniquely yours. But what I do know is this, you are far more powerful than any circumstance you are facing. You have within you the ability to not just survive your challenges, but to thrive because of them. Think about it this way. When a blacksmith wants to create a strong, beautiful sword, what does he do? He does not treat the metal gently. He does not coddle it or protect it from discomfort. No, he puts that metal through intense heat and pressure. He hammers it, shapes it, tests its limits. And it is through this process of intense pressure and transformation that a piece of raw metal becomes a masterpiece. You, my friends, are that masterpiece in the making. Life's hardships are the fire and the hammer shaping you into something truly magnificent. But here's the key. You have to choose to see it this way. You have to decide that you are not going to be a victim of your circumstances, but rather the architect of your own transformation. How do we do this? How do we shift our perspective when life feels overwhelmingly hard? Well, I am glad you asked, because that's exactly what we are going to explore together. First and foremost, we need to practice radical acceptance. Now, this does not mean you have to like what's happening. It does not mean you can not work to change your circumstances. What it means is that you stop fighting against reality. You acknowledge what is without judgment, without resistance. Because it is only when we accept our current reality that we free up the energy to actually change it. Imagine you are stuck in quicksand. The more you struggle and fight against it, the faster you sink. But if you can relax, if you can accept the reality of where you are, you give yourself the chance to think clearly to find a way out. That's what radical acceptance does for us in the face of life's hardships. Next, we need to reframe our challenges. Instead of asking, why is this happening to me? Start asking, what is this trying to teach me? You see, every hardship carries within it a lesson, a gift, if only we are willing to look for it. Maybe you are facing financial difficulties. Instead of seeing it as a punishment or a sign of your inadequacy, what if you saw it as an opportunity to reassess your relationship with money? To learn valuable skills about budgeting, saving, or even discovering new ways to generate income. Or perhaps you're dealing with a health challenge. Yes, it is scary and uncomfortable. But what if this is your body's way of telling you it is time to prioritize self-care? To learn about nutrition? To start that meditation practice you've been putting off? to finally address those underlying stress issues you've been ignoring. When we reframe our challenges this way, we shift from being victims of our circumstances to being students of life. And they say, my friends, life is the greatest teacher you'll ever have. Talk about something that's absolutely crucial when life gets hard, self-compassion. Too often, when we are facing difficulties, we become our own worst critics we berate ourselves for not being strong enough, for not handling things better, for not having it all figured out. But I want you to hear this loud and clear. You are doing the best you can with the tools you have right now. And that is enough. 
imagine for a moment that your best friend was going through exactly what you're going through. Would you criticize them? Would you tell them they are not good enough? Of course not. You'd offer them compassion, understanding, and support. So why do we so often deny ourselves that same kindness? Starting today, I want you to make a commitment to treat yourself with the same compassion you'd offer a dear friend. When things get tough, when you feel like you are failing, pause. Take a deep breath. Put your hand on your heart if you'd like and say to yourself, this is hard. I am struggling right now and that's okay. I am doing the best I can and I am going to get through this. The simple act of self-compassion can be transformative. It creates a sense of safety and support that allows you to face your challenges with greater resilience and clarity. Talk about something that's absolutely vital when life gets hard, your mindset. You see, your mind is the most powerful tool you have. It is like a garden. Whatever you plant in it will grow. If you plant seeds of despair, hopelessness, and negativity, guess what? That's exactly what will flourish. But if you consciously choose to plant seeds of hope, resilience, and possibility, you create a mental environment that supports your growth and transformation. How do we cultivate this positive mindset? It starts with awareness. Begin to pay attention to your thoughts. When you catch yourself spiraling into negativity, gently but firmly redirect your focus. You might say to yourself, I see you negative thought, but I choose not to engage with you right now. Instead, I am going to focus on what I can learn from this situation. It is also incredibly powerful to practice gratitude especially when things are tough. Now, I'm not talking about toxic positivity here. I am not suggesting you ignore your pain or pretend everything is fine when it is not. What I am suggesting is that you make a conscious effort to acknowledge the good that still exists in your life, no matter how small it might seem. Maybe you are going through a difficult breakup, but you can be grateful for the friends who are supporting you. Perhaps you've lost your job, but you can appreciate the extra time you now have to pursue a passion project. Even in our darkest moments, there is always something to be grateful for. If only we are willing to look for it. Practicing gratitude does not negate the difficulty of your situation. What it does is expand your perspective. It reminds you that your hardship, no matter how all-consuming it might feel, is just one part of your life story. It is not the whole picture. Talk about something that's absolutely crucial when life gets hard, taking action. You see, it is easy to feel paralyzed when we are facing big challenges. We can get so overwhelmed by the magnitude of what we are dealing with that we do not know where to start. But here's the truth. You do not have to have it all figured out to take the first step. In fact, action is often the antidote to anxiety and despair. When we take action, no matter how small, we shift from feeling helpless to feeling empowered. We remind ourselves that we are not passive victims of our circumstances, but active participants in our own lives. What does this look like in practice? It means breaking down your challenges into small, manageable steps. If you are facing a mountain of debt, your first step might be simply creating a budget. If you are dealing with depression, it might be calling a therapist to set up an appointment. If you are struggling in your career, it could be updating your resume or reaching out to a mentor. The key is to focus on progress, not perfection. Each small step you take is a victory. It is proof that you are moving forward, even if it does not feel like it in the moment. And here's something really important to remember. It is okay to ask for help. In fact, it is more than okay. It is essential. We live in a culture that often glorifies self-reliance and independence. But the truth is, we are not meant to go through life's hardships alone. Reaching out for support, whether it is to friends, family, a therapist, or a support group, is not a sign of weakness. It is a sign of wisdom and strength. Think about it this way. If you were trying to climb a mountain, wouldn't you want a guide? Someone who's been there before, who knows the terrain, who can help you navigate the challenging parts. That's what support does for us when life is hard. It provides guidance, encouragement, and a reminder that we are not alone in our struggles. 
I want to address something that many of us struggle with when life gets tough, the fear of failure. You see, when we are facing big challenges, it is natural to worry about failing. What if we cannot overcome this obstacle? What if we make things worse? What if we're not strong enough? But here's the thing. Failure is not the opposite of success. It is a part of success. Every great achievement, every breakthrough, every moment of personal growth is preceded by numerous failures and setbacks. The most successful people in the world aren't those who never fail. They are the ones who never give up. I want you to start reframing your relationship with failure. Instead of seeing it as something to be avoided at all costs, see it as feedback. See it as information that's helping you refine your approach, teaching you valuable lessons, making you stronger and more resilient. When you embrace this mindset, suddenly the fear of failure loses its power over you. And you become willing to take risks, to try new things, to step out of your comfort zone. And it is in that space outside of your comfort zone where real growth and transformation happen. Talk about something that's absolutely vital when life gets hard, self-care. And I'm not just talking about bubble baths and scented candles, although those can certainly be nice. I'm talking about truly honoring your physical, emotional, and spiritual needs. When we are going through tough times, it is easy to neglect ourselves. We might work longer hours, skip meals, sacrifice sleep, all in an effort to push through our challenges. But here's the truth. You cannot pour from an empty cup. If you want to have the strength and resilience to face life's hardships, you need to take care of yourself first. This means prioritizing your physical health, getting enough sleep, eating nourishing foods, moving your body in ways that feel good. It means tending to your emotional well-being, allowing yourself to feel your feelings without judgment, engaging in activities that bring you joy, setting healthy boundaries, and it means nurturing your spiritual self, whether that's through meditation, prayer, time in nature, or whatever practices help you feel connected to something larger than yourself. Self-care is not selfish. It is not a luxury. It is a necessity. It is what gives you the strength and clarity to navigate life's challenges with grace and resilience. I want to talk about something that's incredibly powerful when life gets hard the power of purpose. You see, when we are in the midst of difficult times, it is easy to lose sight of the bigger picture. We get so focused on our immediate struggles that we forget why we are here, what we are working towards, what truly matters to us. But here's the thing, having a sense of purpose, a clear understanding of what you want to contribute to the world can be like a lighthouse in a storm. It gives you direction when everything else feels chaotic. It provides motivation when you feel like giving up. It reminds you that your life has meaning beyond your current circumstances. I want you to take a moment right now. Close your eyes if you are comfortable doing so. Take a deep breath and ask yourself, what truly matters to me? What do I want my life to stand for? What difference do I want to make in the world? Maybe your purpose is to be a loving parent or partner. Maybe it is to create art that moves people. Maybe it is to fight for social justice or to invent something that improves people's lives or to simply spread kindness wherever you go. Whatever it is, connecting with that sense of purpose can provide incredible strength and motivation when life gets hard. And here's something really important to remember. Your purpose does not have to be grand or world-changing to be meaningful. Sometimes the most profound purpose is simply to be fully, authentically yourself. To show up each day with an open heart. To treat others with kindness. To do your best with whatever life presents you. Talk about something that's absolutely crucial when facing life's hardships. The power of your words. The language we use both in our internal dialogue and in our conversations with others has a profound impact on our experience of life. Think about it. How often do you catch yourself saying things like, I cannot handle this, or this is impossible, or I'll never get through this? These kinds of statements, while they might feel true in the moment, are actually self-fulfilling prophecies. 
They reinforce feelings of helplessness and defeat, making it even harder to face our challenges. I want you to start paying close attention to your language. When you catch yourself using disempowering words, pause, take a breath, and then consciously choose to reframe your statement in a more empowering way. Instead of, I cannot handle this, try this is challenging, but I am strong enough to face it. Instead of this is impossible, say this is difficult, but I am going to find a way. Instead of I'll never get through this, affirm this is tough, but it is temporary. When you change your words, you change your world. You start to shift your perception of what's possible. You tap into reservoirs of strength and resilience you might not have even known you had. And this does not just apply to how you talk to yourself. It is equally important in how you communicate with others about your challenges. Instead of focusing solely on the problems, start talking about solutions. Instead of dwelling on what's going wrong, start discussing what you are learning and how you are growing. This shift in language does not deny the reality of your struggles. It simply puts them in a different perspective, one that empowers you to take action and move forward. I want to address something that many of us struggle with when life gets hard the tendency to compare ourselves to others. In today's world of social media and constant connectivity, it is all too easy to look at other people's lives and think, why is it so easy for them? Why am I the only one struggling? But here's the truth. Everyone faces challenges. Everyone has moments of doubt, fear, and pain. What we see on the surface, the smiling photos, the success stories, the seemingly perfect lives, is often just a small part of the I want you to make a commitment to yourself right now. Stop comparing your behind the scenes to someone else's highlight reel. Your journey is uniquely yours. Your challenges are uniquely yours. And most importantly, your strength and resilience are Instead of looking outward and comparing yourself to others, turn your gaze inward. Focus on your own growth, your own progress, your own journey. Celebrate your own victories, no matter how small they might seem. Because every step forward, every moment of growth, every challenge overcome is a testament to your incredible strength and resilience. And remember this, the person you should be comparing yourself to is the person you were yesterday. Are you growing? Are you learning? Are you becoming more of who you want to be? That's what truly matters. Talk about something that's incredibly powerful. When life gets hard, the practice of visualization, you see, your mind does not really distinguish between what's vividly imagined and what's real. When you engage in vivid detail visualization, you are actually creating new neural pathways in your brain. You are literally rewiring yourself for success and resilience. I want you to try this. Close your eyes for a moment. Take a deep breath. Now I want you to imagine yourself having overcome the challenge you are currently facing. See it in vivid detail. How do you feel? What does your life look like? Who are you with? What are you doing? Really allow yourself to step into this vision. Feel the sense of accomplishment, the joy, the peace that comes with having moved through this difficult time. Let this feeling sink into every cell of your body. Open your eyes. How do you feel? Chances are you feel a bit more optimistic, a bit more empowered. That's the power of visualization. By regularly engaging in this practice, you are not just daydreaming, you are actually preparing your mind and body for success. You are reinforcing the belief that you can overcome your challenges, that you are resilient, that you have what it takes to navigate life's hardships. Talk about something that's often overlooked when life gets tough. The importance of connection. In our modern world, it is easy to feel isolated, especially when we are struggling. We might withdraw from others thinking that we do not want to burden them with our problems or feeling like no one could possibly understand what we are going through. But here's the truth. Human beings are wired for connection. We thrive when we feel a sense of belonging, when we are part of a community. And it is often in our most difficult moments that we need this connection the most. I want to encourage you to reach out, connect with friends, family, or a support group, share your struggles, your fears, your hopes 
allow others to support you, to offer their perspectives, to remind you of your strength when you've forgotten it yourself. And remember, connection is not just about receiving support, it is also about giving it. When we help others, when we offer our own wisdom and compassion, we often find that we are helping ourselves as well. We are reminded of our own resilience, our own capacity to make a difference. Address something that's crucial when life gets hard, the power of forgiveness. And I am not just talking about forgiving others, although that's certainly important. I am talking about forgiving yourself. When we are facing challenges, it is easy to fall into self-blame. We might berate ourselves for the choices that led us to this difficult place or for not handling things better. But here's the thing. Holding on to this self-blame, this resentment towards ourselves does not serve us. It does not change the past and it certainly does not help us move forward. Forgiveness is about freeing yourself from the burden of past mistakes or perceived failures. It is about acknowledging that you are human, that you are learning and growing, and that you deserve compassion, especially from yourself. I want you to practice self-forgiveness. Acknowledge any mistakes you've made, learn from them, and then let them go. Release yourself from the weight of self-judgment and criticism. Because it is only when we forgive ourselves that we truly free ourselves to move forward, to grow, to become more of who we are meant to be. Talk about something that's incredibly powerful when life gets hard, the practice of mindfulness. In our fast-paced world, it is easy to get caught up in worries about the future or regrets about the past. But when we are facing challenges, being present in the moment can be incredibly grounding and empowering. Mindfulness is simply the practice of being fully present, of paying attention to your thoughts, feelings, and surroundings without judgment. And it is a powerful tool for navigating life's hardships. When you are mindful, you are better able to recognize and manage your emotions. You are more aware of your thoughts, which allows you to challenge negative thinking patterns. You are more in tune with your body, which helps you recognize and address stress before it overwhelms you. I want you to start incorporating mindfulness into your daily life. It does not have to be complicated. Start with just a few minutes each day of focused breathing. Pay attention to the sensation of your breath moving in and out. When your mind wanders, and it will, that's normal. Gently bring your attention back to your breath. As you practice this, you'll find that you become more centered, more grounded. You'll be better equipped to face your challenges with clarity and calmness, rather than getting swept away by fear or anxiety. Talk about something that's incredibly powerful when life gets hard. The practice of reframing. Reframing is all about shifting your perspective about looking at your situation from a different angle. The way we perceive our challenges has a huge impact on how we feel about them and how we respond to them. And often, our initial perception is not the only valid one or even the most helpful one. For example, let's say you've just lost your job. Your initial reaction might be to see this as a disaster, a huge setback. But what if you reframed it? What if you chose to see it as an opportunity to reassess your career path to pursue a passion you've been putting off or to develop new skills. Or maybe you're going through a difficult breakup. It is easy to see this as a failure, as a loss. But what if you reframed it as a chance to rediscover yourself, to build a life that truly aligns with your values and desires? Reframing does not mean denying the reality of your situation or pretending that everything is fine when it is not. It is about finding a perspective that empowers you, that opens up possibilities rather than closing them down. I want you to practice reframing in your daily life. When you encounter a challenge, take a step back. Ask yourself, is there another way to look at this? What opportunities might be hidden in this situation? How might this difficulty be serving my growth or leading me towards something better? You might be surprised at how a simple shift in perspective can change your entire experience of a challenging situation. Address something that's crucial when life gets hard, the importance of self-reflection. You see, when we are in the midst of challenges, it is easy to get caught up in just reacting to what's happening around us. We are so focused on getting through each day, we do not take the time 
to step back and reflect on our experiences. But self-reflection is a powerful tool for growth and resilience. It allows us to learn from our experiences, to recognize patterns in our thoughts and behaviors, and to make conscious choices about how we want to move forward. I want you to make time for self-reflection in your life. This could be through journaling, through meditation, or simply through taking a few minutes each day to quietly think about your experiences. What am I learning from this challenge? How am I growing? What strengths am I discovering in myself? What patterns or beliefs might be holding me back? What small changes could I make to better support myself? This practice of self-reflection can provide incredible insights. It can help you recognize your progress even when it feels like you are standing still. It can help you identify areas where you need more support or where you might need to make changes. And perhaps most importantly, it can help you connect with your inner wisdom, that part of you that knows what you truly need and what's truly important to you. Talk about something that's incredibly powerful when life gets hard, the practice of setting intentions. You see, when we are facing challenges, it is easy to feel like we are just being tossed around by circumstances beyond our control. Setting intentions helps us reclaim our power and our sense of direction. An intention is different from a goal. A goal is something specific you want to achieve, while an intention is more about how you want to be, how you want to show up in your life, regardless of what's happening around you. For example, you might set an intention to approach each day with courage, or to treat yourself with compassion, or to look for opportunities to learn and grow in every situation you face. Setting intentions helps you stay focused on what truly matters to you, even when life gets chaotic. It gives you a sense of purpose and direction, a North Star to guide you through difficult times. I want you to start each day by setting an intention. Take a moment in the morning to ask yourself, how do I want to show up today? What quality do I want to embody? How can I align my actions with my values, regardless of what challenges I might and then, throughout your day, come back to this intention. Let it guide your choices, your reactions, your interactions with others. You all find that this simple practice can profoundly shift your experience of even the most challenging times. You are so much more than the challenges you face. You are your dreams, your passions, your love for others. You are your resilience, your courage, your capacity for growth. You are the lessons you've learned, the wisdom you've gained, the person you are becoming. As you navigate these difficult times, remember to hold on to your sense of self. Remember that you are not your problems. You are the awareness that perceives them, the strength that faces them, the wisdom that learns from them. And most importantly, remember that you are not alone. We are all in this together, all facing our own challenges, all learning and growing and becoming. Your struggles connect you to the broader human experience reminding us of our shared humanity. I want you to leave here today with a renewed sense of your own strength and resilience. I want you to remember that you have within you everything you need to face whatever life throws your way. You are powerful beyond measure, capable of growth and transformation that you might not even be able to imagine right now. Life may be hard, but you, my friend, are harder. You are resilient. You are adaptable. You are strong. And you will get through this, not just surviving, but go forth with courage, with compassion for yourself and others, with an open heart and an open mind. Embrace your challenges as opportunities for growth. Celebrate your progress, no matter how small, and always, always remember, you have got this. You are enough, just as you are, and you have within you the power to create the life you dream of. Remember, when life is hard, that is when you have the greatest opportunity to discover just how incredible you truly are.